Our war on terror begins with Al Qaeda, but it does not end there. It will not end until every terrorist group of global reach has been found, and a terrorist who's stopped, responsible for the murder of and defeated of innocent men, women, and children. It was nearly 10 years ago that a bright September day was darkened by the worst attack on the American people in our history. The images of 9 11 not are appear seared that there's any kind of a, an effort memory. up there yet. Now remember, oh my God. Oh my God. That looks like a second plane. Has just I did not see a plane go in. That, that just exploded. We I, just saw another plane coming in from the side. You did. I did that was out of absolute Yes, and that's view. the second explosion. You could see the plane saved. come in. Even more heartbreak right and destruction. And yet we know that the worst images are those that were unseen to the world. The empty seat at the dinner table, the children who were forced to grow up without their mother or their father, parents who would never know the feeling of their child's embrace. Nearly 3,000 citizens taken from us, leaving a gaping hole in our hearts. On September 11th, 2001, in our time of grief, the American people came together. We offered our neighbors a hand, and we offered the wounded our blood. We reaffirmed our ties to each other and our love of community and country. On that day, no matter where we came from, what God we prayed to, or what race or ethnicity we were, we were united as one American family. We were also united in our resolve to protect our nation and to bring, to bring those who committed this vicious attack to justice. We click, quickly learned that the 9-11 attacks were carried out by Al-Qaeda, an organization headed by Osama bin Laden, which had openly declared war on the United States and was committed to killing innocents in our country and around the globe. And so we went to war against Al-Qaeda to protect our citizens, our friends, and our allies. Over the last 10 years, Thanks to the tireless and heroic work of our military and our counterterrorism professionals, we've made great strides in that effort. We've disrupted terrorist attacks and strengthened our homeland defense. In Afghanistan, we removed the Taliban government, which had given bin Laden and al-Qaeda safe haven and support. And around the globe, we worked with our friends and allies to capture or kill scores of al-Qaeda terrorists, including several who were a part of the 9-11 plot. Today, at my direction, the United States launched a targeted operation against that compound in Abbottabad, Pakistan. A small team of Americans carried out the operation with extraordinary courage and capability. No Americans were harmed. They took care to avoid civilian casualties. After a firefight, they killed Osama bin Laden and took custody of his body.